My argument is basically to stop shaming how people are dealing with quarantine. We're all dealing with it in different ways, but I've seen a lot said about kind of expectations for like progression while all this is going on. So people saying that, you know, if you don't progress um, in your career or your passions through all of this, then you've got no excuses because you had all the time. But the thing is, is this is a very new situation. It's a very difficult situation for a lot of people considering circumstances and considering mental health issues because this going on, you know, our freedoms have been reduced. There's a lot of things that we can't freely go and do. We're not allowed outside as much, you know, it's a very uncertain, very scary time, especially with a lot of stuff in the media. So people, a lot of people, all they can do is just get through and just cope and that should be absolutely fine. The kind of policing each other about what you should be allowed out to do and allowed out to buy, etc. At the moment there's a lot of people going out and buying things like gardening equipment or barbecues, garden games, things like that, um, which people are arguing, you know, you shouldn't go out and do that because it's not essential. But the thing is, is you don't know how much joy that could bring to someone who otherwise is really, really miserable being stuck indoors. And as long as they are social distancing when they're going out and practicing good hygiene, then I don't see any reason why what they're doing is wrong. Also, you don't know that that trip out for that person or those people could be just a brief escape from a really terrible situation that they are having to be isolated in. You know, we've seen a rise in domestic abuse cases, unfortunately, um, things like that. People that have strained relationships with the family or the people that they're quarantining with. So you don't know whether that half an hour trip out could be an absolutely massive break for them. It could be some, you know, a, a great form of relief. I think basically that as long as people are following social distancing rules, staying two metres apart and keeping up good hygiene and respecting other people, that there's no reason why anyone should have a say about how anyone else is quarantining. We're all getting through it our own ways.